Hey guys, welcome to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to shape scales more efficiently. So basically, this is a video dedicated for you that are planning or doing the Ryu Jin 3.5 or any other origami that has this kind of scales. So I'm in the progress of mine. This is the top half. Let me see if I can show you the rest. It's here. So this is the bottom, which is not done yet. And I've shaped uh, almost like a bit more than half of, uh, of the top side. Um, so as you, as you may know, this is, a, this is the problem, not problem, but this is the time consuming part of the Rio gene, which is just actually shaping the scales because there are thousands of them. And as I was doing them, I kind of figured out the method to make them faster because, well, that's the, the goal, to make them as fast as possible, I guess. Also to make them nice, but, but as fast as possible. So um, I actually find, found the goal and with this method, you can do a scale um, in about under a minute. I won't do scale by scale, but you'll know, I'll show you why. But basically, you can fold like six scales in four, four minutes. I'll, my average is around four, mi four minutes. Okay, so basically this is the method I came up with. Of course, there are, pos there, are there may be other methods um, and I probably will make this method even faster as I keep doing it because you can you can keep um, you can get faster by practicing a lot and I have a lot to practice on <laughs> so basically let's let's show so basically what you do when you shape scales you shape one at a time but I think that's uh, a bit of a waste of a time because let me show you so basically what you start to do um, okay I'm assuming first off I'm assuming that you have the scales in this um, this format. Wait, let me see. I think it's a bit too bright. Okay, so you have the scales in this um, format. Okay, so this is the, the the first part of the shaping. Then you have to make the squares, and then you can turn it into this. I'm not going to show you how to do that because. Hey guys, so it's me from the future, sorry about that. I wasn't planning on showing you how to shape the scales, but then I thought, why not? So here's a small clip of me uh, shaping it. So basically I have here um, eight by eight paper divided in, eight, yeah, that I pre-creased it. And to shape the scales, let's just make them first. So basically I take the second line here and then mountain fold there and then Rally fold on the next one and then do the same thing with this one here like this okay like that and then I make mountain fold here rally fold here and this one as well like this okay so we should have something like this now okay so this is basically what I have here, except this is a lot more and smaller, but it's the same thing. So basically what we're going to do is, you see that there are intersections here in which the paper overlaps, like this point here, um, this point, this, this one here. So what we're going to do is actually open up them, so open them up and fold them in a different way. So let me just zoom in. So let's start with this one here. So basically what you're going to do is pull like this and then you're going to make a mountain fold here like that, a mountain fold there and then you're going to do valley folds like here, okay? Valley fold, diagonal valley folds like this. Don't don't bother about this part. 
like this, okay? Then make sure you grease it. A key uh, point to actually having good scales is really, and good origami in general is creasing everything really hard. So you have this one now, let's also do this point here. So again, pull the paper here and then make mountain folds here and then valley folds here and on the other side as well. So basically we're making a frog base, I believe that's the name. So yeah, like that. it here and let's actually do one more let's do this well this one is also supposed to be this one right here a bit faster but like that and also this one might as well this one is like this this one is kind of different but might as well do it So yeah, you should have like these four scales here. Now to actually shape them, what you first need to do is for example this point here. So you're going to open and you're going to fold this edge, this point here to about half the distance from this point to this point. So basically just pull, just grab here and pull and then just crease like this. It doesn't have to be exactly half, just about like this. And then just crease here. Like that. And just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so basically this is how you get to, oops, sorry. This is how you get to these uh, shapes here that I have here. So we just do this all over the place. Let me just show you how to shape them real fast. So basically you have this. Uh, you can do the same thing with this one. For example, to this side here, like that. this one as well okay and now what you have to do is actually turn the paper around and at each corner you're going to pull the paper inside so let me show you on this one first here so the top one so you're going to pull the paper inside here and you're going to make a mountain fold on these not not these lines but these ones these ones right here and all the way down okay so like this you should have something like this now do the same thing on this one Just the same. Sorry if I'm rushing, but, but I can see that my camera is running out of battery and I really need to finish it. Uh, so you should have something like this. Okay. This part is uh, doesn't look well because just because there are no scales above it, but 
if they are if they were they would be good but we can do this one here this too so basically just open this one here and do the same thing that and the same thing on this one okay like that and as you can see now if you turn around that you can see it now this is a, a shaped scale here okay this is exactly what I have on the, the Ryujin that I, also, that I already showed so this is a shaped scale okay and yeah that's it back to the video clear yeah, you have the scales on this part this design are shaped already so basically what you do normally is you flip the paper around like do that Okay, and you should have something like this. So ignore the shit scales, you should have something like this, okay? Now let me just zoom in a little bit. Sorry. Okay. So, first of all, we'll need to tools which are going to be um, a th uh, no this is a toothpick and the pincer I believe it's the name so what you usually do is you actually have these um, flaps here hidden at at each of these corners right you have flaps here and here and usually uh, pull them with your hand but this paper is too small so I usually use the pincer to pull them and what you do is you go through each of these little squares and you pull both papers, both flaps, and then you close them and then you go, go through every scale. But what I found to be quicker was to actually go uh, and do this bro uh, by, by a column. So basically we're going to open all of these six, um, six uh, six times two so 12 flaps at the same time and then we're going to collapse them at the uh, all at the same time so basically that's why i was saying it was six scales because it's six uh, points um, and that way you don't waste time like uh, picking up the pincer uh, putting it down picking up the i know this sounds like silly uh, but trust me it saves time uh, and it saves even more time if you do it more times. So let's let me actually zoom out a bit. Okay, that's better. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to let me see if I, okay, we're going to go here and just what I do is I pinch this flap here, and then with my other hand I just grab here and then just pull. Be careful not to read the paper and I just pull both flaps here okay so like this and now how, how I was saying was you usually do these two flaps and close then go to the next one but we're not going to do that we just leave this like that and just keep opening uh, the rest of the flaps on the same column so next one And yes, I will take more time now because I'm explaining, but I usually take around four minutes to do an entire column. Next one. Now here. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just 
like that. I know it sounds like a mess, it looks like a mess, but no, it will get better. So basically what we have to do is at each, let me zoom in now, okay, at each of these points, so you can see these points here, you have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're going to fold these flaps, this one and this one to the sides. Okay, these two flaps to the side. So basically what I usually do is put the toothpick inside, crease along the middle line. So I mean, this is hard to do when filming. So this is just the basic uh, shaping of the scale. You have to do this um, as, as you're normally shaping a scale. Okay, so you can see. Wait a second. Okay, so you put the toothpick here in the middle and you make a valley fold on this one and the valley fold here as well and you just close it like this, okay? Don't, don't bother if it's not perfect, don't collapse it, don't crease it, just make sure it goes in the correct shape. Here, the same thing. Here you can see better, so you have to make uh, valley folds here and here and the mountain fold here in the middle okay just like that okay so you have to do try to leave it like this okay not fully collapsed just a little bit and then you have to do this all um, around the, the remaining points okay so I'm gonna do it a bit faster There may, uh, maybe someone, some scales take an extra effort to make it, uh, to put it in the correct position. Some of them go right in place. It just depends on how you pre-crease them. But um, you'll get practice by doing this. So don't worry if at first it sounds, it takes a long time. For example, this one is kind of messed up. Let me see if I can. Okay, one more. Okay, so let me zoom out a little again. Oops. Okay, so you should have something like this, okay? So not fully collapsed, just something like this. And now what you're going to do is you're actually going to each flap and just put your toothpick here and on the other one as well. Just making these two points kind of go to each other and slightly press with your thumb, just slightly, don't press all the way. And do this with every, every scale, okay? Just like that, on this one as well. Okay, so something like this, okay? Don't fully crease it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is turn around and you should have something like this, okay? So depending on how you do it, on how you do the previous step, uh, the scales will be in the correct place or not, but that's why you turn around to correct any scale that wasn't. For example, I need to actually, let's start from the top, I need to actually push this one a little bit more outwards. 
So, and again, with this method, you can actually, um, for example, imagine that you pre-crease the scale with the correct, with the wrong size. You can actually just come here and just adjust it. For example, this scale, as you can see, the crease was supposed to be there, but it collapsed here. What I can do is simply just push this part inside. Well, not that much. Just push that part inside and there we go, it's fixed. And you do the same thing with all of the remaining. So just make sure that when you press it, they go in the correct place. And when you're confident, you just turn around again and just crease everything, this time hard. Okay, just crease everything. And it should look something like this. So this is the last row right here. So basically this method allows us, I'm not sure, not sure how much time I took there with explaining, but I'm pretty sure that it takes less time than actually shaping um, each scale individually. Um, so that's how I'm shaping the scales. I didn't start by doing this, I only started like when I was about here, but I still have all of the, the, the bottom scales to, to have fun. And so, and I guess that's it. Hope you like this tutorial. Um, I'm not really sure when I'm going to finish this origami. Hopefully uh, this month, April. By the end of April it should be done. And yeah, that's it. So I, I hope everyone is doing well with this coronavirus situation. But well, what better situation to actually focus on your on your origamis, right? With uh, being home all day, you have a lot of free time and at least that's what I'm doing. So anyways, hope you enjoyed, hope this helps with your Ryujin or any other origami that you're doing and please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion for videos or if you have any questions I'll make sure to answer them all and that's it guys bye thanks for watching